Well, Guardians, I had a ton of doubts about this hand cannon at first. I've warmed up to it since then, but this hand cannon was close, so close to being great. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. I wasn't expecting a craftable Igneous because that would be absurd, but being our second ever craftable 120, I was at least hoping it would be comparable to Round Robin. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite meet that standard. We'll talk about perks in a sec, but I need to address something that I know will come up if I don't bring it up right now, and I'm sure a few people are already typing a comment about it. Yes, I already know about the Stasis Titan 2-tap build, I am very aware of this, but here's the thing. When I review a weapon, I do my best to let the weapon stand on its own merits. If a weapon requires me to use a specific class or subclass to be good, it's probably not getting a good review. Keep that in mind as we go into this, because while this weapon's performance did surprise me, if you were hoping this would be the next Igneous Hammer, then you're going to be disappointed. But this video is probably going to be a long one, because honestly, I am in love with this weapon, but it has some substantial drawbacks that have to be considered, because Bungie really kind of fumbled the ball on this one. Now Targeted Redaction is a craftable Void Energy 120 hand cannon from Season of the Deep. You can acquire it, of course, by completing seasonal activities such as deep dives or salvage, or by focusing deep engrams at the sonar station. This weapon shares the same skin as Spare Rations, but with a very sexy looking taken effect, and it does also have a benefit that Spare has, and we'll talk about that later. Let's start by taking a look at its perks. First column, for your barrel perks, you have Extended Barrel, Polygonal Rifling, Chambered Compensator, Small Bore, Corkscrew Rifling, Full Bore, Hammer Forged Rifling, Arrowhead Break, and Fluted Barrel. In the second column, for your mag perks, you have Steady Rounds, Alloy Magazine, Appended Mag, Flared Magwell, Extended Mag, Tactical Mag, and Accurized Rounds. Third column, Well-Rounded, Triple Tap, Outlaw, Invisible Hand, Envious Assassin, Shot Swap, and Perfect Float. Fourth column, Keep Away, Collective Action, Destabilizing Rounds, Focus Fury, Explosive Payload, Harmony, and Frenzy. Then we have the Intrinsic Trait, Unsated Hunger, Increased Handling, Reload Speed, and Stability when no abilities are fully charged, which basically makes this trait the reverse of Surplus. So if you couldn't guess already, this weapon is something of a mixed bag. Let's start by talking about PvE. As always, when we talk about hand cannons, in the current sandbox, they just don't really have a place in the meta. But for all five of you who use cannons in PvE, you do definitely have some choices here. For your barrel perks, honestly, pick whatever you want. Your mag perks are a little more important. One of the biggest drawbacks of hand cannons in PvE, and this is especially true with 120s, is the small mag size. Targeted Redaction only holds 8 rounds in the cylinder, so I would go with anything that either increases your mag size or increases your reload speed. In the third column, your best option is going to be Envious Assassin. Envious will help a ton with keeping that mag full, get a bunch of kills with another weapon, and it will overload Redaction's mag. You could also go with Triple Tap, where landing precision hits will refill a portion of your magazine, but this is really a perk I would save for special weapons or heavy weapons such as sniper rifles, linear fusion rifles, LMGs, so on and so forth. This is a perk better suited to something you'd be using for boss DPS, and I'd imagine that most of us aren't using our primaries for that. Next up in the fourth column, we have a ton of options. Collective action, where grabbing an elemental pickup such as a stasis shard or fire sprites or throwing a strand tangle will give you a damage boost of 20%. Next up, destabilizing rounds, final blows cause nearby targets to become volatile, focus fury, dealing half the magazine as precision damage will give you a 20% damage increase. Explosive payload, self-explanatory, you shoot explosive bullets. They have a small AoE that can damage other enemies, they can stagger them, have a little less damage fall off at range, so on and so forth. Next up, Harmony, where getting a kill with another weapon will give Redacted a 20% damage boost, and lastly, Frenzy, where being in combat for 12 seconds will give you a boost to your damage, handling, and reload speed for 5 seconds. And Frenzy can be refreshed by either taking or dealing damage within that 5 second window. My top choices of these perks would be Collective Action, Destabilizing Rounds, or Frenzy. 
Collective Action is going to be useful on any subclass in PvE, and it gives a substantial damage boost. Destabilizing Rounds is perfect for Void builds, and Frenzy is very easy to proc and keep procced in PvE. So definitely a lot of potential here, but again, hand cannons don't have a place in PvE currently. But if you are a PvE main, it might not be a bad idea to craft one of these and put it away in your vault because that could change in the future. Moving on to PvP, let me start by saying I didn't expect to like this weapon. In fact, I expected to basically spend an entire video dogging on it, but it did manage to surprise me. The main issue with this weapon is it has some very stiff competition. Igneous Hammer, of course, comes to mind, but isn't really a fair comparison because no 120 in the game can match Igneous, plus it isn't even available right now, so for that reason, we're gonna leave it out. A more fitting comparison would be Round Robin, as it's the only other craftable 120 we have, and Bottom Dollar, as it's also a Void 120. Coming back to Redaction, for my Barrel perk, I went with Fluted Barrel originally to help with the poor handling and stability, but given that I'm using Ophidian's 90% of the time these days, I did end up switching this to small bore. But if you're not on Ophidian's, I would probably stick with Fluted Barrel. Of course, you could go with Hammerforged Rifling as well for more range, but given that it doesn't help your stability or handling and 120s struggle with both of those, I would stick to Fluted or small bore. I would definitely avoid full bore entirely here. The downsides are way too substantial on this weapon. For the magazine perk, I would go with either steady rounds or accurized rounds. Steady rounds will boost your stability by 15 and your AE by 5 at the cost of 5 range. Accurized will give you a flat plus 10 to your range with no downsides. This really comes down to personal preference. Do you want more manageable recoil and less flinch? Or do you want more reach? That's the choice you're just going to have to make. Moving on, the main issue I really have with this weapon is that third perk column. The fourth column is fine with keep away and explosive payload, both very good perks for PvP, but that third perk column just doesn't have much going for it. Most of the perks in that column are best used in PvE, with the only real exceptions being Outlaw or Well-Rounded. Well-Rounded does provide the biggest overall benefit here. With Well-Rounded, when you throw a grenade or hit a target with a charged melee attack, you'll get a substantial boost to your stability, range, and handling for a few seconds. It can stack twice, and it will give you a plus 10 to each of those stats per stack. Also, using a super will immediately give you both stacks. The main issue here is this is very dependent on your grenades, meaning this is best paired with a grenade build or a subclass with high grenade uptime. Some examples of this might be Strand Hunter or Solar Hunter with Ahamkaras, maybe a Titan with Armamentium, something along those lines. In the case of PvP, you can pretty much forget the benefits from casting a super since that isn't something that happens all that often outside of a mode like Mayhem or maybe Eruption. The only other really good option here is Outlaw. Landing a precision final blow will max out your reload speed. It's not a huge benefit, but it does help address one of the main issues with 120s in general, and that's the poor reload speed. Also, before someone brings it up, yes, I am aware of Invisible Hand, a new perk that will boost your stability when you miss a shot and the buff will remain shortly after landing a hit. I did try this perk because I was curious about it, and I can safely say it just did not feel worth using at all. You could, in theory, fire off a couple of shots before entering a gunfight so that you go in with the buff, but given that this weapon only holds 8 rounds and teams tend to hold hands a lot these days, it's really just not worth it. So, Outlaw would be my first choice here. Next up in the fourth column, Keep Away or Explosive Payload are my favorite options here. Again, I am aware of the Stasis Titan 2-tap build where you can have collective action with basically infinite uptime, but not everyone plays or likes Stasis Titan. It's a great option if you're a Stasis Titan main or if it's something you're willing to build into. Outside of that, I would avoid it. 
As a side note, specifically looking at the Stasis Titan build, you'd really think Bungie would have learned from Target Lock that damage perks that just grant free damage are a bad idea, but here we are. Coming back to Redacted, I tried both Payload and Keep Away. Payload helps your range slightly, as the explosive damage from Payload has no damage fall off, and Keep Away boosts your range by 10 and helps your reload speed when no enemies are inside of 15 meters from you. Between the two, I ended up going with Keep Away. Payload was nice, the flinch is definitely helpful in duels, but the boost to your reload speed and range stat from Keep Away definitely makes it a priority here. More range is never bad, and the boost to reload speed helps address the awful reload speed the weapon normally has. For my masterwork, I went with stability, for obvious reasons, 120s tend to not have good stability. Now before I talk about the final rolls I'd recommend, I gotta talk about that third perk column. This hand cannon was so insanely close to being a top tier choice, but that third perk column really hurts this weapon. There just aren't many good choices for PvP. Really the main perks I would want to see here would be either slide shot or perpetual motion. Perpetual motion would be my first choice here, as range isn't as much of an issue on this weapon, and I'd prefer the stability and handling bonus that Perpetual gives you, but that's not to say Slide Shot is a bad choice either, given that it gives you a huge bump in stability when you slide and also will partially reload your magazine. If that third column were to be adjusted, particularly with those two perks, or even if Keep Away was just moved to the third column or switched places with a perk in the third column, so we could have both Keep Away and Explosive Payload at the same time, then this hand cannon would honestly be a real winner. But moving on, let's talk about the roles I ended up settling on, and there are two roles I really like on this weapon with only one difference. The first is Fluted Barrel, Steady Rounds, Outlaw, and Keep Away with a Stability Masterwork. The second one is almost exactly the same. The only difference is I traded Fluted Barrel for Small Bore. I think for most people, Fluted Barrel may be the better choice since it does help both handling and stability. But if you're not really worried about the handling, then Small Bore is probably the better option since it helps both your range and your stability. If you really want to prioritize range, I would go with Hammerforged Rifling. Now here's the last pro I'm going to talk about before we talk about cons. This hand cannon feels incredible. Targeted redaction looks and sounds like spare rations, one of the best feeling 140s in the game, and it feels like a 120 version of spare. It's just one of those things where you can't really put your finger on it. It just feels good every time you pull the trigger. And this is definitely something to keep in mind because for some people, having a weapon just feel really good is enough. Now let's talk about the main cons, and that is this weapon's competition. 120s have their benefits, to be sure. More range, more damage, and more flinch. They're also more forgiving than 140s with that higher damage as well, requiring two crits and one body shot as opposed to three crits with a 140. But 120s do still have their issues. Range isn't typically an issue, but stability, reload speed, and handling almost always are. 120s also typically have a much lower aim assist stat than 140s. Now, if we compare this weapon to the 120s I mentioned earlier, Round Robin and Bottom Dollar, they have a ton of perks that really help with these issues, such as Round Robin, with Keep Away, Killing Wind, and Under Pressure in the third column, and Opening Shot and Elemental Capacitor in the fourth column. These all address some of the issues that 120s have such as combining Keep Away for the extra reload speed with Opening Shot for a boost to Aim Assist on that first shot, or Keep Away with Elemental Capacitor on a Void or Arc subclass to help with your reload speed and either your stability or your handling. On top of that, the damage perks in Round Robin's fourth column are way more viable than the ones on Redacted because you can have something like Keep Away or Under Pressure in the third column with a damage perk in the fourth. Next up, Bottom Dollar, where in the third column we have Surplus, Killing Wind, Rapid Hit, Quick Draw, and Slide Shot in the third column, and in the fourth column, Eye of the Storm, Explosive Payload, and Opening Shot. Now of course, Bottom Dollar doesn't really have much in the way of damage perks for PvP, unless you want to count something like High Impact Reserves, but all of those perks address the issues that 120s have. As an example, you could combine Slide Shot for the boost to range and stability when you slide with something like 
static explosive payload for the extra range and flinch, or I have the storm for help with handling in a head-on gunfight. I could go on and on and on here, but I think you get the idea. That third column in targeted redaction really limits this weapon's potential. It legitimately causes me pain, because I do in fact love this weapon, but that third column really hurts it so much so that it makes it difficult to pick over other options. Targeted redaction has so much potential, and Bungie unfortunately has squandered it by giving it such an awful third column. This weapon desperately needs help in that regard, especially given that hand cannons are very much underperforming right now. All that being said, this is a good hand cannon, and in a world where 120s are mostly hard to get, if you want a good energy 120, it's really not a bad option. I would definitely be hard pressed to use this weapon over the bottom dollar that I have, but if targeted redaction does have an advantage here, it's accessibility. Bottom dollar is a gambit drop with a massive perk pool, and even with focusing at the drifter, your chances of getting that god roll are slim at best. So if nothing else, targeted redaction is a good placeholder until you're able to get something different. I will say again, just due to how this weapon feels, I very much enjoy using it and I will probably use it regularly just because of how incredible it feels. For that reason alone, I would definitely recommend you craft it and at least give it a try. This weapon does have a whole bunch of issues, but if nothing else, it's a dream to shoot. But that's all for me today, Guardians. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor and leave me a comment. Let me know if you have this weapon crafted yet and how you're liking it so far. Also, as always, please hit that subscribe button with the bell icon. It really does help me out a ton. For now, I will see you all in the next video. Peace, Guardians.